Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and happy belated New Year's. This is Taro Nichu, and yes, I am using a different accent this time around. Something that's a little more natural for my vocal cords, if you will. So, I do, I say happy belated New Year's, but in reality, I am recording this on the eve of New Year's Eve. So, I just won't be posting this until the Monday after New Year's Day, since at the time that I am recording this, I have yet to record, I mean, no, to post the third part of episode 5 of this playthrough. So, with all ado, well, I did have a little trouble recording this at first because, uh, I did update to the newer version of this particular Feeds of Beast mod pack, you know, Infinity Evolved. And apparently my computer did not take too kindly to that, being the first time that I was actually playing around with this current version. Okay. But in any case, since I have this little waypoint, right next to a nice big chest here. I was going to go ahead and f fetch that other chest that I left in that direction. But, since I have this teleportable uh, waypoint here, uh, right next to a chest, I may as well store some of my stuff in here. Anyway, so we've got the tin, some bones, gold, white shimmering mushroom, I don't need that. Don't need these arrows. Now, I am thinking for my ranged weapon of making use of this shuriken that you may remember from previous videos. I was reading about them in the most recent of the Tigers Construct books. We'll keep that armor around in case my steel, my iron stuff breaks. So, essence or berry bushes. Put those in there as well. Wait, need those ladders. Cobblestone. Okay, don't need that rotten flesh either. So, yes. I have 52 samples of redstone so far. It's not bad. So, I have 30 torches left. How's my other armor doing? Oh, that helmet is not doing so well. I probably have to make a new one. Come on. You have a nice little pit here. Yeah, so that's a nice little trick that I could utilize. I cannot fall off of any blocks while I'm sneaking, but I can jump and move in a direction to jump down on to that block. Pick up some of this tin ore while we're at it.
Looks like we've got a little bit of a dead end here. If I am correct, of course we do have some gravel to dig up here, so I may very well be mistaken in the end. But, who knows? Okay. Okay, so it's going rather well as far as the frame rate is concerned. Can't say the same for when I was try first trying to record this episode. And look. More water. Alright, so, no doubt want to make another pickaxe. Shame I don't have... Oh, right. Yes, I don't want to go back to that other chest anyway. Come on. Not to pick it up. Well, perhaps that may be helpful. But for whatever is in that chest to begin with. Yellow, right, or not gold. Keep this sawn out just in case. Oh, wait a minute. Just get this bit of stone out of the way. So that I don't have to hurdle over it. Ah, that just suffocated, it looks like. Alright, there's a crafting table. Alright, or more copper air, or berry bushes. Some eucalyptus wood. Put that stuff in there. Get in there. Gold. Tin. You want to keep that gravel. Now yeah, what? So, as long as I have something in the dolly, I am slower at both moving and mining. Which would make sense if you're carrying a whole chest of other stuff with you. Frankly, it would be this kind of surprising that I can carry around enough materials to build a fortress inside my backpack, to begin with. Right. Okay, so just put that there. All right, I already do have my crafting table in hand. Well, not in hand, but in my inventory.
Okay, so. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, make eight just in case. I am trying to save on my iron until I can get more at a more reliable pace. So we'll have to stick for stone for the main digging for now. Or stick with stone for the main digging. Okay, so... Looks like this is the source block. Does it appear that there is some lava here not too long ago, or perhaps... Well... Okay, so that was the source block that I dug up. Okay. Oh, goody. Okay, what could be going on here? That looks legit, looks like. Okay, let's get out the gravel. No, no. Oh, yes, I could get more gravel if I want to. There is that body of water. And, well. No, no, no. Okay. There we go. Because, you know, gravel does sometimes yield, yield the flint instead of the actual gravel block that you place down. Or that you dig up. Okay. See what's behind all this dirt, huh? More food for the mass fabricators that we'll be making in the end game? Oh, uh, goody. Some more gold. So, hope you can see why I do this. Oh, uh, more gravel for us as well. And some flint. Okay. Excellent. Now if we run into Lapis Lazuli, that will also be a nice little bonus. Yes, well, let this shovel receive a little more rebeating until we make a new one.
Okay, so nothing nasty above us so far. All right, I forgot. It's time to put on the customary tunes. So, with it being that this video will be posted while the year is still young, or the new year is still young, I find it that find that it will be appropriate to start with our story begins. Okay, let's hope the frame rate doesn't take too much of a large hit with this thing as well. Alright, cobblestone. Okay, so gravel. Oh, wait. Alright, more dirt. In. It's done in yellow, right? So, I wonder... What is yellow, right? Or, used for? Hold on, how's that spelled again? Without the W, with an R in its place. Okay. It's used in reactors. Okay. Material, you know, right, or dimlet. Create. It's in flux tools. Okay, so Okay, so grindstone creates yellow on Yellowium dust. Also make facades. Yellowium ingots. You need pyrosian dust as well. Thermal foundation. Okay, Yellowium ingot. Okay, so what are the ingots used for? Right, want to right click it. Yellowium fuel rod, reactor casing, ah, these are used for the reactors, of course. Okay, so, Yellowium, or yellow right, for Nuclear reactors. Okay. Hold on. Want to make sure that there isn't any lava waiting for us. 
Oh, goody! Brian! Come on! Okay, so I can dig this up safely, I hope. Of course, I may want to check behind that lock. Well, oh. okay, safe so far. Alright, safe. Can never be too careful when it comes to lava. Oh goody, going to have lots of iron from this dig. Okay then. How much iron is that? Twenty-three in my pocket right now. Hold on. There's someone at my door. I shall be back. And I am back. Fellow well, maintenance just came along to replace the furnace filter. So, being said, let's do some more digging. Alright, seven. And this is on normal difficulty, isn't it? Right. Yes, it is. Some more gravel for us. Right, that's cobblestone. I want to place a torch down here for a good measure. Right, I should remember to not dig straight up. One of the main rules of Minecraft. In case something nasty falls down on you. Hang on. Get this bit of stone out of the way. Repair these shovels, or rather combine them. Almost full durability. Got some lead there. Look at him, more redstone. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hope there isn't any lava behind here. Nope. Okay. Gotta be careful. Okay. All right. Lots and lots of redstone. Now, if I can only find some lapis lazuli or even a diamond, well, I'll probably want a diamond more than the lapis lazuli. And that'd be great. Alright. So let's see what all this gravel is hiding, huh? Function of another mod that's this mod pack. Don't remember what it is, uh, what mod it's from, though. 